，各位阿摩哥的小明，大家好，大家晚上好。我会使讲淡薄淡薄福建，但是我讲阿摩。Friends from Amokyo, our supporters, residents, thank you for coming to our rally today. The opposition has been talking about creating a first world parliament. Do you know what it means? I don't know. And I think you want to ask them the question, what does it really mean? I think they are mistaken. We should really be looking for MPs who not just speak in parliament, many of us do, both mainly the PAP MPs, sometimes the opposition MPs, we speak up on many issues. But parliament is just one part, it's an important part, just one part of what an MP does. The real work for an MP is really on the ground, working with residents, working with grassroots leaders to solve problems that residents face. Not to disrupt government. I've been a member of parliament for 15 years, and what have I learned? What I've learned that what we want, what the residents want, is a first world parliamentarian. And what is the definition? First, of course, we have to speak up in parliament on issues that affect our residents, that affect our residents' livelihood, that can help improve their lives. We have to speak up in parliament, and many of us do. But then, we also have to build up a strong relationship with our residents. And why? So that we understand their needs to help them when they face difficulties. And you have seen over the last few years, we went through many difficult times. Many of our residents lost jobs, lost their jobs, faced difficulties, faced financial problems. And the MPs, the PAP MPs in Amokyo did not rest. We worked very hard to help our residents to make their life more comfortable. So that's two. Third, MPs must deliver on their promises. We can't just promise and not deliver. This is another hallmark of a good parliamentarian. And so if you look at AMOQ MPs in the last five years, I can tell you, and I'm sure you'll agree with me, that we have de delivered on everything that we promised in our past manifesto. You can look it up. And in the town council plan that we have put together. I will not go into details because we shared our town council plans, past, present and future, just recently, and many residents have seen this. But we have upgraded almost every block in Amokyo, whether it's a main upgrading program or the neighborhood renewal program or the interim upgrading program that was done previously. Prime Minister in 2001 promised all residents of Amokyo that every eligible block in Amokyo will have the leaf upgrading program done. And I'm glad to say that we have either completed or undergoing upgrading, leaf upgrading, for every single block that is eligible in Amokyo. We delivered on our promise. We have also made a lot of improvements, like sheltered walkways, barrier-free accessibility for older residents, for those who are disabled, playgrounds, 3G centre, which we launched recently to serve mainly our senior citizens and also for families and many, many other work that we have done. It cost us in Amokyo $642 million in the last five years to do all of these projects. That's a lot of money. Now, not only money or quantitative, but also in the qualitative area. You have seen two reports by the Ministry of National Development on the performance of town councils. Amokyo Town Council came up top for both of the reports in cleanliness, in maintenance, in many other areas. And you must know that in five years after we came into parliament, the Amokyo MPs did not increase the SNC charges for five years, although our costs went up very high. Despite all of this, we managed to be the best town council in Singapore. And the two opposition town councils are the last two. So please be careful when you think about voting an opposition. Can they? do the type of job that the PAP MPs have been able to do. Now, looking into the future, we share this plan with our residents too. We will do many things, including some of the things that my colleagues mentioned just now. 
like the ITE, a sports hub in Jalan Kayu. We will do the housing improvement program that will improve the internal parts of the house. Many of our blocks are old, need the pipes and wires and the windows and the toilets to be changed. All of these are in the pipeline and will be coming soon. And also we, have, we are upgrading Bishan Park. In a few months, you will have a new river in Singapore, the newest river running along Bishan Park. That is something that our residents in Amokyo will be enjoying. And do you know how much this is going to cost? It's going to cost $1.2 billion in the next five years. Double of what we spent in the last five years. So the Amokyo team is committed to make Amokyo even better for all of our residents. Now, there are many other things that we do behind the scene and not only in Parliament. And I'd like to share a couple of these things that we have done. And one of it is what uh, Mr. Singh Han Tong, in fact, all my colleagues shared about some of the stories about what they did to help our residents. Let me just share a few. Do you know, I'm sure you know, when the lift upgrading program was done last couple of years, HDB stopped offering the number lift, the floor indicator. It was only an up and a down arrow. Many residents were upset because waiting at the floor, you don't know where the lift is. At every floor, we would like to see where the lift is, which floor. HGP stopped offering that. When it came to Amokyo, and when I chaired the first committee meeting for the upgrading of one of my precincts, I asked this question, are all my lifts going to have a floor indicator? And the HGP officers told me, no, not for any blocks in Singapore. And I told the HGP officer, in that case, I'm the chairman of Amokyo, uh, Yochukang Town Council, I told him, in that case, Amokyo will stop all upgrading programs unless you give us a number indicator on every floor. And when I brought this up to HGB, the first answer was, sorry, it cannot be done. And I did not take no for an answer. I sought our Prime Minister's help, went to the Minister for National Development. It took HGB two months to study and in two months, on Christmas Eve, two years ago, they came back and told me, yes, it can be done, and they will do it. HDB will pay for it. Not only for Amokyo, the whole of Singapore had the number indicators on their lift. These are the type of work that we do behind the scenes, not just in Parliament, that the Workers' Party or any other opposition do not talk about. They just talk about debating in Parliament is just one part of it. When we had floods in July last year, one of my townhouses, Mayview Townhouse along Amokyo Avenue 3, was all of a sudden, after 30 years, flooded. The flood water went into their house. And because we are not used to floods, some of them came down from their top floor, and one of them fall. Piano became useless, furniture became useless, flooded. was a serious problem. The residents wrote to PUB, asked for help, they could not find a suitable solution. And then the secretary of the management committee emailed to me. I was overseas. What I did when I found out was I came back quickly. At 10 o'clock at night, I went to see the situation on the ground. Next day, I called the PUB, the residents. And PUB finally agreed to do something when they did not first agree to the residents. And you know what they did? Two things. First, we built a swimming pool along Amokyo Avenue 3. If you drive along Amokyo Avenue 3, you will see a barricaded area. It's a big swimming pool. What is this pool for? To hold the water temporarily if it rains very fast. And when it happens, the water will not, will not be, uh, go into the drain and flood. We actually also give every household sandbags to put in front of the houses. And the second thing that we did was HD, uh, PUB finally decided to upgrade all the drains in Amokyo so that this flood will not come. And I hope they are correct but they're going to start the work in September. So this also requires a lot of effort in the background, not just in Parliament. So I just want to say that PAP MPs are working very hard for our residents to solve their problems so that they can have a much more comfortable life. This is the work that we've been quietly doing, working very hard, and I hope that our residents will support us again so that we can continue to do this for you to make our home in Amokyo a much better one. So when you vote, on 7th of May. Please think, who can best represent you and who can best help solve, the, solve your problems in Amokyo? Can the Reform Party do it for you? Do you know, in two days, we haven't seen their posters anywhere. 
If they can't even do this in the beginning, will they be able to solve your problems? So please think carefully, and I hope that you will support us, support the team, the PAP team in Amokyo, so that we will continue to serve you and make Amokyo an even better place. So let's secure Amokyo future together. Let's secure Singapore's future together. Shinto PAP or drink PAP EPL. Shinto PAP EPL. Shinto PAP EPL. EPL.